New Age Astral Bliss. One of the most appealing ways the Thothian groups have found to manipulate the New Age is to promote the states of astral bliss through the slick marketing of spiritual consumerism, which many people line up for like astral junkies to get a hit of false love transmitted from the astral plane implants while participating in these retreats. There is a manipulated state of astral bliss, which is a type of emotional conditioning to activate addictive response patterns while participating with many of the new age group modalities that are hijacked by Thothian entities. Retreats that scratch the surface and allow us to feel something. Allow us to check off a box that later gets turned into, I'm beyond all that shadow because I've dealt with that already. Thus, the setup is to ignore red flags and emotional weakness in everyday life because the fear of actually facing deeper issues and having to make changes in one's lifestyle is too overwhelming. Spiritual development is about getting the negative ego out of the driver's seat and being open and willing to feel the changes that need to actually happen while being honest with ourselves. If we are really being honest, we may know we need to change, but we will be faced with a test of self-responsibility. In the consumer spiritual market, we can transfer that responsibility onto something else and pretend that what we are actually doing was something spiritual because we paid for a product or listened to a guru type that promised awakening. New Age astral bliss narratives are filled with fantastical illusions, wishful and magical thinking, self-deception and escapist fantasies of the rainbows and butterflies outlook on life that appear to be like a Disney movie. Many times severely emotionally wounded people are led into the New Age where they are not interested in healing themselves or taking responsibility for their behaviors. They seek instead further excuses to continue negative behaviors and being deceptive to others in an accepted social setting. To have better discernment, the most common New Age astral bliss profiles may include demonstrated qualities such as complacency, carelessness, demonstrating a lack of responsibility and cluelessness towards others, easily mentally confused and overwhelmed, vacant eyes and expression, incoherent and fractured communication, drug-like ecstasy, euphoria to sedative states when in astral frequency transmissions from a guru, Addictive tendencies to recreate the astral bliss build state over and over again. Projecting spiritual fantasies on others, accusing others of being dark, prone to emotional tantrums, acting as the chaos disruptor. Ungrounded in their body, therefore prone to self-delusion, naive with poor decision-making may be prone to emotional hysteria and archetypes of drama, such as rolling around on the ground crying and screaming or going into primal or fetal states when in groups. Lack of discernment in environmental energies places trust in untrustworthy people and highly corrupted organizations. Auric or light body disconnection in one or more layers no boundaries, and open to whatever may come in the astral, covered with energy parasites. Rejects the existence of pain and fear when confronted by it. Cannot tell the difference between darkness and light. Says everyone is one, 
so they can take whatever you have because it's theirs already. Tends to lack discipline or self-responsibility. May confuse drug-like states and addictive states with higher consciousness states, re-traumatizing wounds and fragments through drug use in shamanic journeying. Holier than thou with prideful self-importance declares they are on a spiritual mission and that gives them permission to treat others badly. Hedonistic or bohemian personality, a total sensualist nature, following the highest excitement. Alien implanted, unaware of the existence of implants, mind control, or negative ego. Unwilling to confront or face negativity or bad behaviors for fear of being labeled judgmental. Low ethical behavior, holds grudges, easily puts down others and engages in malicious gossip. These naive astral visions propagated by the New Age hijack have filled people's minds with denial one of the most potent forms of fear-based programming, denying the nature of reality and denying the painful truth by remaining in escapism and complacency by avoiding self-responsibility. These disempowering and negative qualities have come to be the primary factors that have dominated the acceptable narratives that are included in the New Age movement as group think. Some of the New Age material has promoted shocking emotional damage to people in this way. By positively rewarding negative behaviors and unethical conduct, such as spiritual bypassing, as acceptable norms in the management of the spiritual community. There is a delusional psychosis that is spread and promoted to shape and reinforce very negative behavior as acceptable behavior in some of the New Age circles in order to groom these people as hosts and sleepers for serving the Thothian Luciferians. The New Age hijack is what has been created in groups who refuse to grow up or to become accountable for their behaviors and responsible for their lives this committing to a personal value system that evolves into spiritual maturity and self-integrity. In this context of a staged military-style takeover, the general dissemination of New Age ascension or disclosure information that is given out by the mind control handlers is used to take complete control over assigning approved topics and unapproved topics. Some of these fringe topics are being made increasingly acceptable in the mainstream, gaining larger audiences from massively growing commercial industries, as New Age themes have been parlayed into multiple million dollar branding opportunities. As an example, after the success of a hit televised show, it is now acceptable to talk about ancient aliens that were involved in human history a few thousand years ago. But it remains unacceptable to talk about aliens here on Earth with us right now.